The dashboard seemed intact, but this old family car would never drive again. A 5T71. Extraordinary. The floor of the car was littered with keys from sardine cans. I picked up what looked like an old diary. It was Ramon's. The library will forever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place, once I've eaten. I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady, your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. Hmm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. Our lives are entwined like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Nice. I was reading that. Have you no respect for great art? Pretty indigestible, huh? The wind chime looked like it was made from old cans. I wondered if it was Ramon's handiwork. Despite the scrap components, the wind chime was beautiful. It was uncanny. One old sardine can was bulging slightly. I fished around. There was something in it. And there it was, the key to the library. I found your key. I thought it was lost forever. Do you want to be with me when I open the door? No. Some things are better left in the past. And anyway, I must look out for Eva. Ramon had been true to his word. This place was like a shrine. The old armor was in pride of place. Ganon clearly hadn't moved it. The trunk contained someone's personal possessions, at a guess, Genans. I wondered what secrets they might hold. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. George would be so jealous.
So what is this place, senor? It is my family's chapel. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbols? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Montsegur with the Tabula Veritatis. From under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian Crusade. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And, and what have they got to do with the Tabula? The Cathars were Gnostics. They lived in the south of France in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preach that men and women are equal, that God is within you, and that the church is an obstacle to salvation. The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent. The Cathars accused him and his church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope learned that they were the guardians of the Tabula Veritatis, he conspired with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless massacre. The final confrontation took place here at Montsegur in 1244. The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics, but a handful managed to escape with the tabula. They traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more. Sadly, it was not the end of their trials. The Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secret of the tabula. So, you understand why La Maledizio is important to me. It will lead us to the tabula again, so we can keep it safe from those who wish to abuse its power. The painting brought us up here, senor. We need to find out why. It was a large marble statue of an old man with a beard. The statue held aloft a colored glass lens. These statues... What of them? They're just like the figures in the painting. And on the fireplace. Indeed, they are the two pillars of the Gnostic faith in harmony. And the bearded one is Yahweh, Jehovah, God of the physical world. The other is known by many names, Helel, Ishtar. He is the bearer of light, Luxfere, Lucifer. Lucifer? So, you guys are devil worshippers? No. When he is in balance with Jehovah, Lucifer is the god of desire and ambition, driving humans to be inquisitive, to discover, to advance. Just as Jehovah, when he is in balance with Lucifer, is the god of order. Jehovah stands for selflessness and altruism. Gnostics worship the harmony of both gods in balance. But what if one were to rule without the other? If Jehovah ruled without Lucifer, then individuality would be surrendered. Mankind would be wholly conformist, mindlessly dependent. Mere pawns of a controlling power. And what if Lucifer ruled without Jehovah? Ambition and desire would be transformed into unbridled greed, and man would lust only for wealth and power. 
society would descend into chaos, disorder and war would prevail. Then, Lucifer would be the devil indeed. It was a glass wheel divided into six colors, and it looked like it could be rotated. Part of the lens was covered. The color changed from yellow to green. It was a glass wheel, just like the one held by the other statue. Part of the lens was covered. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. I removed the small leather cover to reveal a crude crystal lens. Colored light streamed through and shone onto the fresco. The fresco deserved a proper examination. The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Ex labore sapientia, from struggle, knowledge. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. Just what this place needed, bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. Red light from the medallion fell onto the fresco, mixing with the other colored light. It meant something, but I didn't know what. Red light from the medallion fell onto the fresco, mixing with the other colored light. 